Hi, uh, we're, I'm here today with uh, Jane Atkinson. Uh, we recently had the opportunity and pleasure to stage her home. And uh, we're gonna do a little interview here, a little we're conversation. So Jane, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Jane Atkinson. My husband is Michael Gill, and this is our home. And Michael and I are both actors and we probably are most recognizable from the hit series, House of Cards. My husband played the president and I played his secretary of state. Mm -hmm. And we have other credits as well, but we're here to talk about the amazing job that Dawn did staging our home. Tell us why you decided to stage your house first off. Well, um, my husband Atnat and I and our son Jeremy we have lived in the Berkshires for 14 years, and you know what happens when you live in a home. You live in it, and so you realize that you might need to paint a room, or you need a new table, or you mm -hmm. need trim done outside, and you need to fix all these things, and this goes in this closet, and this goes in that closet. And life happens, and you, you don't do any of it, or you do it piecemeal. And our son graduated from college. He's in Brooklyn. He's in New York. Thank you. Yes, he, we kept him alive. <laughs> you did it. And uh, he's there. And so we only have one child. And we had him late, right? So here we are. We're in our 60s. And we thought, okay, we're going to have an adventure. We want to go and we want to go. And um, I said, we're selling the house. And Michael had wanted to do that. And then I realized that I had to get back here and do all this work on the house really fast to get it on the market. You were fast. And my dear friend, Leslie Chesloff, recommended you to stage the home now. There is nothing more delicious when your brain is like this and you're doing everything for someone like you who stepped into my spirit and I know that you staged the house so that it would look good, but somehow you also captured my whimsy and you brought in colors like this gorgeous, gorgeous pillow. And I, she brought <laughs> orange into my home and I just thought, and it, it just helped me relax. And, and so staging it gave it this crisp, clean, new, Look, this is a house that was built in the 1920s and it needed that refreshing facelift. It needed a facelift. So that's why I decided to stage. It made so much sense to take an older home, bring it up to date in the way that you did and so that people can step in and imagine, mm -hmm. imagine with what you do. Well, you took it a little further than our average staging. We get to work with some really interesting colors and furnishings, and you really, you were ready to prepare the house for a next buyer and neutralizing it and painting trim and really giving it that full facelift, not just come in and put the furniture in and, and make the colors work. And so that was really a treat for us as well, a treat for me to be able to come in and, and really give the house a new I, look. I, I really recommend anybody who's going to use you um, for staging to, to let I, I said, you do what you need to do, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm not gonna be here on the days, I'm not gonna do anything. Because if you are going to invite someone into their home, what was so wonderful for me is that you really respected that it was my home and that I was going through this this sometimes very difficult mm -hmm. separation and you're letting go of things. And that's what I love about you as well. Not only do you have fabulous taste, but you also understand the psychology of what it is to leave your home. Um, with me, <laughs> it's like, please do this, please it do this. Is sometimes a, a difficult conversation to have with someone. Are they ready to leave? And I thought you were ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready because the home that I lived in is not this home now. 
So we've jumped the gun here, I realize. You decided to love your house instead of list it. Yeah. And that was really a surprise all around. I think it was a surprise for you as well. It was such a surprise. I was adamant we were selling this I house. I think I needed to truly commit mm -hmm. to letting everything go. And I was ready to do that. And so there was, I think that, and I think that also put a fire in my belly to get it done, not just get it done, but have it look amazing. And yes, I wanted to get the highest price, but nothing that I did should I change my mind, would I regret, mm -hmm. including the staging? Because I was nervous, not nervous, when I saw it was so beautiful and so brand new. It was possible to call you and say, you know what, I'm feeling a little nervous, maybe we shouldn't do the staging. That was the piece de resistance. When you came in and you staged my home it just went up a hundredfold and i cried i mean i was so happy it, well first off we did use a lot of your furniture we changed some things out but we used a lot of your things also i know so there was that piece of you still here and that's how orange came in too even though it is our color um it's not in every home that we stage but your bedroom has a blue and orange and, and white rug. And so we had to pick that up and put that in there. But it was like you were in my head. <laughs> you know, there's something, if you're, I'm a busy person, I work a lot, I'm home, I'm not home, I do my best. But to have somebody just lift you up in this regard and come in and just imagine something that you know it's back there somewhere or maybe it never was and make it work. It was such a beautiful, beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. Our home is where our heart is. Mm -hmm. And you just took my heart and went <clears throat> like that. And I, I, was, I was blown away. I was so happy. And you, you, you handed me back my home brand new. It just mm -hmm. felt brand new. I didn't really want to leave, but I couldn't. I just was done with, it's a big house. And I, and I just, there was so much to do. And I just was tired. And to have it redone and then have it reimagined somehow in every way that I loved was this beautiful experience. And that was the test, honestly. I had to put myself through that test because I really did want to sell it. Right. I want to have adventures. You were, and you were ready. I was, right? <laughs> you were. I said, go, I'm out of your hair. But the beauty of what you did was the simplicity of how you made every corner of my home a beautiful place to look. Wherever your eye went in my home was something beautiful to look at. And that's what I loved about also what you did. So you're not just staging it, you're, you're actually making it sparkle and shine. Well, we try and do that. And it's kind of odd sometimes when we walk into a home and meet a homeowner and say, you know, we need to, I need to come and see it. We need to let the house speak to us so that we can tell a story with the house. Yes. And that somebody can walk in and see themselves living there, that, that there is color, that there is personality without it being so personalized. Um, and, and even sometimes the choices of the books we put on a table reflect a story that we're trying to tell. Gee, do these people love the outdoors? Do they like hiking? Are they interested in design? What's going to make this house shine? And that's what you did. That's the story that you told. And everywhere anyone was going to look, they could imagine themselves mm -hmm. here easily. It was like a beautiful, 
slipper, oh. right? That's beautiful, but comfortable. Mm -hmm. And you just slip it on and it's home. I also have a mandate that we cannot move in until we replace the things that we didn't get from you because that was the other thing that I really loved is that whatever you're putting in, if a client really loves it, whether it's a person who buys the house or it is the person who <laughs> decides not to sell, <laughs> you offer yeah, it for sale. Mm -hmm. and, and that was also really, really wonderful for me. So a few of the things we didn't buy, we have to replace. And I want to do that. I want to have it staged. And when you're going to move back in? And <laughs> move back in. Once I have those things, I, I will have us move back in. And my husband completely agrees because he felt it too. Well, it was, it was such a crazy thing to get your text message at 10 o'clock at night. I know. <laughs> it was a love it or list it moment, though we didn't know that that's where we were. Headed. Either did I, either did I. I, I was determined and um, I'm so thrilled. Well, I'm thrilled and you, that you And you are. really, your, what you did was the piece de resistance because as I said, I was tired. I couldn't imagine. I, and I didn't want to do the shopping and I did, I did, but I didn't. And I just wanted new. But I didn't want to have to do it. Well, this was the way to go. It <laughs> certainly was. You are the way to go. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, I wish you many more years of happiness in this house. You, you and Michael and Jeremy. Thank you. Enjoy. And thank you for sitting down with us. This was a treat and a pleasure and just so much fun thank doing you. this with you. Thank you. And I don't think our journey's done. I don't think so. We have some <laughs> bedside tables yes. to find and lay And dining and tables. Dining and... tables. Yeah. Yes. But you really have been a, a treat to work with. And so are you. Thank you. You listened to my heart and you made my house a new home. So yes. thank you. Thrilled. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you.